What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Calvin, the So Good Gardener, coming back at you with another one. And today, guess what, y'all? I got mail. Okay? I got some mail, y'all. I got to tell y'all all about it. Stay tuned. Here we go. All right, y'all. So thanks to my brother, Broke Farmer, for the, the, getting this connection for the uh, gardening community. All right? With Food Forest Nursery, y'all. Once again, that's Food Forest Nursery. They, we are partner, We are in partnership with them. And look at that knife. That's medieval, y'all. Come on now. Ooh-wee. Get you some of that. Come on. All right. But we are in partnership with them for this gardening community to give you, offer you a 10% discount on everything you purchase from them. And that's got to be awesome. Come on, y'all. 10% on some of the prices they got on that website. Ain't nothing like it. And they got everything. When I mean, when I say everything, how Brooke said, everything. <laughs> but what I have before you today, okay, is a raspberry bush. And if you know anything about raspberries, you know, they don't take very long to take off and give you all the food, all the grocery you want. And let me show you what variety it is, okay? Put my medieval knife down. It's made of valerian steel. All right, all right, so here we go. Let's get this thing unwrapped. Ooh, look at the root structure on this thing, right? Yeah, God, so much. Hey, that's a nice little bamboo stick, too, boy. That's that get right stick. I'm gonna have to hold on to that. All right, but look at the root structure on that, y'all. Good gracious, y'all see that? That is once again Food Forest Nursery. Dot com. Go see them. And this is the Bristol Black Raspberry. Can't wait. What's this one here? Oh, he sent me two. Okay, somebody. Won't he do it? Boy, won't he do it? This one right here is the new Logan Black Raspberry. I ain't ever had it. But I'm going to grow it, and I'm interested. So, first things you got to do when you're doing anything with bare root. You got to soak it for a few hours and all that stuff. Got some bonus raspberries. All right, man, I was not expecting that. Thank you, Food Forest Nursery. But y'all please go check out this website. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. They have a selection like nobody's business. And I'm gonna show you some of the results you could get if you start buying your fruit trees right now, get a bare root and what you can look forward to in the future. All right, but all I got over here in this little red bucket that I'm about to throw out because it's all cracked up is some water at the bottom right there see that i'm just going to soak it in that water let those roots get rehydrated and then yeah look at them they're already bubbling up soaking up some of that water then i'm just going to pot it up in one of these something that needs to be potted up after a few months of growth but i'm gonna let the roots get good and established in there and let it do what it do and i got my little master mix of stuff that i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you Okay, I ain't gonna cheat you. I'm gonna let you see what I got growing on in the So Good Garden, all right? But while that's soaking, let me give, take, give you a quick tour of what you can get from foodforestnursery.com in your garden, in your backyard orchard, in your backyard food forest. Let's go. We're talking blueberries, okay? Bud now, it's February, and yeah, we got some buds on there. Get focused, it won't focus, but blackberries this is just a thornless variety they got all this stuff over there for you y'all move more blueberries just rabbit eyes already budding out I'm trying to show y'all here okay uh another thornless blackberry here's a let's show you here all right brightwell blueberries not saying they have this exact variety but they have so many different ones premier blueberry Y'all, you will not be disappointed. Please head that way. Mulberries, any kind of berries. Peach trees, bare roots. Peach trees, everybody know, they grow very, very fast. So get these things now before the spring really pops off. Get them in the ground, get them in pots, however you're gonna do it. And let's get to growing something. Persimmons, they got them. Everything from Fuyu to whatever you want, <laughs> they got them. Catawba grapes, 
in pots. Mine, I put mine in pots because I can't put them in the ground right now. Growing up trellises, they got them. Go over there and get some, y'all. Plum cots, pluots, whatever ots. They don't have Charlie, but they got everything else. Y'all, look at here. If you want, what is this? This is an Orient pear tree. They have different varieties of pear trees. And yeah, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to be patient. You have to put some time in this thing, okay? But yours won't be this big, but order it through mail, unless you're gonna pay an extremely high shipping fee. But you'll get a whip, what they call a whip, that's gonna take off and it's gonna sprout up in no time. These trees, you'll be having fruit in two to three years. This one's already fruiting for me, okay? Because of the size of it. All right, Santa Rosa plums. My brother, David Corey, got a Santa Rosa plum. Granny Smith apple, no time. These things take off, they grow very fast. Y'all, get you one, head over there. Golden Delicious apple, they got them. Pomegranates, got them. Figs, got them. Whatever you want, they freaking got them. All right, so promise me, promise me. You see a little bit of my food for us. Everything's not out back here. I got some of my, uh, my what is it? My citrus trees, they're all on the inside because I'm still afraid of a couple of things that might happen late at night with these winter, winter, winter nights we got going on, okay? But if you want a food forest like this or bigger and better than this, go to foodforestnursery.com. They got it in their freaking name, y'all. Foodforestnursery.com. Go holler at them. All right, y'all. So now it's time to get this thing potted up real quick, like. All right, so they've been soaking in the water, you saw that. All right, roots good and hydrated now. Got that drip going. You know, back like in the day with them jerry curls, get up and have you that, leave that spot in the back. Y'all know what it is. But anyway, <laughs> check it out. I always use my, my rocks in the bottom of my pots. Just a little bit for drainage and not to let the roots see God, see God when they run out of the bottom and seek other means of a uh, of, uh, food and all that good stuff, all right? So, uh, one of my tricks in my tree, y'all, all I got right here, let me show you something real quick. All I got right here is some potty mix. And I don't care what kind of potty mix it is, just potty mix. I don't care if it's miracle Grow, if it grows miracles, it doesn't matter. It's just freaking potty mix, all right? Let's get something well draining. Fill the bottom up with that, okay? And you probably noticed my secret weapon, but I always like to put a little something in the pots because that's all the food they got. Star Kiss Tuna, right there. Wild caught, in water. Make sure it's in water, aqua, all that good stuff, all right? Open this can, pour the whole thing right inside of it. I want those roots to seek it out and get right down in there and get to growing, get to doing some things, okay? All that is, you seen a can of tuna? Ain't nothing special. We're going in the pot. There it is, y'all. Right in. I'm gonna drop this can down and let Charlie go to town. There you go, boy. All right, now I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. Whisk it around in the, in the soil mix. So I don't want the roots directly touching it. I just want them to get to it eventually and then take off and it works for me. All right, put some more soil in there. All right, cover the, the, my tuna fish up. <laughs> okay, and I think we're good. We're a little over halfway to the top. And by planting two varieties in there, y'all, I'm gonna um, have cross pollinate. I, I hate saying that word. Okay, I'm gonna have cross pollinization in one pot, okay? And even when it gets mature and it grows up and goes into the next pot that I'm gonna put it in because I'm gonna keep it in a pot for its lifetime. I don't want raspberries doing their thing which they can be very invasive if you don't know. Ask somebody or just trust me, because I'm telling you, 
that I'm not trying to hit at. So I'm gonna put these side by side like so, like that. Right there, right there, boy. Drop some more soil on him. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna prop him up. I love me some raspberry. Ugh. But I've never grown my own. But it's that time. And if y'all hear that licking around, that's that's Charlie. Tearing that can up. Okay. So, we're almost done. I don't know if y'all can see me or not, but I'm just dropping dirt into my pot. Here we go. Ouch. This thing is not. <laughs> oh, ouch. It is not thornless. Okay. It's not a thornless variety. Which I, I usually lean towards. But hey, trying something different here. All right. Check that out, y'all. Pressing down. Getting good. Oh, no. Piece broke off. You know what? I'm going to try with this, right? I'm going to just stick it down in the pot and see what it do. Maybe it'll root itself and take off. Don't know. We don't know a lot of things in garden. We just try. Okay? Don't know it till you try it. So, that looks good to me. Maybe a little more soil. That's a little bit more. Around it there. Okay. And we're done with this project, y'all. I'm gonna water it in. Put the water, stand back up the water that it was soaking in. And we're gonna leave it out here in this full sun and let him do, or let her do. And of my plants, boys. Let her do what she do. There you go. And once again, you see the quality of this plant. It's already budding out and it's been in a pot or in a bag, not a bag, but a freaking box. It's been in a box forever coming across America to get all the way to Texas to be planted in a so good garden. But it's here now. It's where it's going to be. It's where it's going to live its life. And if you want plants like this and you want to save 10%, make sure you use my code, y'all. I'm going to put it on the screen. It's going to be on the screen the whole time. So good garden of 10. Save that money. Put it in there. Get you, you save some money and just go to Food Forest Nursery and let's, let's support that person. Let's support that nursery that is supporting us, okay? It's the first time in gardening history that this has been done. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But let's make sure we go over there and check that website out. And tell them So Good Gardener sent you over. Tell them Broke Farmer sent you over. Or David Corey sent you over, all right? I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And we're gonna, I'm going to keep you posted on how this thing goes. Because it's going to be up potted very soon into one of them whiskey barrels that I keep everything in. Y'all done seen them over there, all right? Because they take off. But remember, keep sowing and keep growing in every single area of your life, all right? And sow some love, y'all. This world needs it. I love you, and I'm out. Peace.